today's video, we're going to replace the existing Creality base plate with a flexible Creality plate. I was having difficulties in removing my prints. Uh, most people have difficulties in having the prints stick to the mat. Uh, I was having the opposite uh, problem. My prints were sticking too hard to the mat and it was difficult to take them off. Um, at times I actually broke a few prints trying to remove them either scraping or twisting, um, they broke. So we'll replace it with a more flexible one. So as I print, when I'm done, I can actually flip them off and easily remove them from, from the print bed. So let's get started. So the first step in this is removing uh, the clips. There's two clips in the front um, and two clips in the back. I should mention this is a uh, Creality CR10S Pro. Um, to remove these clips, the front ones twist sideways and they have that like this. And they have one small nut underneath, as you can see right here. Um, one here, one here, and the ones in the back don't twist. They have two nuts underneath them. So I'm gonna remove those and um, we'll continue after. And as I remove it, I notice there are much easier ways to remove it. Instead of removing the nut from the bottom, um, you can actually flip the front um, holders, lift out the aluminum plate that it comes with. As you can see, mine is uh, severely damaged. I'm trying to pry prints off of the board and um, actually created indentations and cuts and things into the existing plate. Anyway, we're replacing it. So this is what we have, and it's easier to remove these hex nuts from the top. So there are two here, two here, one here, and one here. So six in total. All right, after you've removed these um, corner and rear pieces, you should be left with four nice pieces of hardware that you're probably not gonna use it again. Make sure you save them anyway. Uh, you never know when you change your mind and go back to a, either a glass plate or another replacement aluminum plate. Uh, save, put in a safe location. Uh, going back to my flexible plate. Forgot to mention I did purchase this from uh, Amazon. I'll leave a link below. Uh, feel free to, to click on the link to purchase it. Uh, so the first step is remove as you know, there's two pieces to it. The bottom one that sticks to the aluminum plate and the top one, which is which is sticks to that one um, via magnet. So this entire piece is magnetized. Try to remove it here with one hand. All right, so the first step is we put the, the top mat away. First step is make sure you clean the aluminum plate with some isopropyl alcohol. Clean it thoroughly because the first layer it's a stick-on layer. You're gonna have to stick this onto this aluminum piece. And you wanna make sure it's a good adhesion and it's not loose or any bubbles um, on there. So let's start by cleaning the aluminum plate. I like to use these alcohol pads. They're easy to use. One, two, three, swipe it thoroughly. I believe one or two of these pads should be enough for this, this base. The only problem is they're to dry very quickly. So that's one, number two here. Again, clean it thoroughly. You don't want any oily spots where the adhesive won't stick. Yeah. It's looking good, looking nice and clean. Next step is take your magnetic adhesive piece start off with uh, one edge this way now if you can see it we'll start off with um, make sure measure it make sure it's the right size yep perfect we'll start off with the back and slowly remove the adhesive backing so that uh, we avoid any bubbles um, this way I, I don't know if you can see here we'll slowly move the magnet as we're 
peeling off the, the sticky side. Now great. All right. Looks great. I do see one minor bubble here. I'm gonna to try to peel it off and uh, give her that bubble. The bubble will create an increased or higher surface for your print job, so you don't want that. There it is. Slowly. And one more bubble here. You can wipe off your hand, uh, hand oils, finger oils, again, on top of the mat, but it really doesn't matter because it's magnetic. I'm just cleaning it. I had an extra alcohol pad open. All right, so that's done. And now you can place your, oh, it's very sticky, which is great. Magnetic, is, uh, the magnets are strong. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect when you put it down because um, as long as your, your print doesn't go to the edge, you should be good. And uh, this is it. So what's next time you print, instead of fighting with with the print job or trying to scrape it off and damaging your surface you can simply lift the magnet up and being flexible this should assist in popping popping that print job and that's it one very important thing i forgot to mention previously is that you should realign your printer because this mat is uh, substantially thinner than and either the aluminum or the glass mat if you have a glass mat. Uh, the glass mat or the aluminum mat are about an eighth of an inch higher. So you want, you want to realign and remeasure your print um, your printer um, before you print your next job. And print a test job, a small print test job, uh, just to make sure it's printing okay. And that's it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.